The SIM 800 is a cheap and portable GSM breakout board with all the capabilities of the larger SIM 900 shields. In this Arduino SIM 800 L tutorial, I will help you with using this nifty device. Sending and receiving texts with your Arduino has never been easier. The SIM 800 module comes with, a Helix antenna, a PCB antenna, and two mail headers. It is easier to solder the headers to the module with a breadboard. But first, make sure to cut one pin from the header, to give way to the Helix antenna. After that, Mount the headers to the breadboard, and then mount the SIM 800 module, and start soldering. Solder the Helix antenna to the pin named, NET. Next, attach a standard size SIM. Remember that the chip dead goes inside. You can also attach the included PCB antenna to boost the signal strength. To start testing the module, attach power and an Arduino Uno. The SIM 800 module requires 3.7 volts and a current of 2 amperes. Here, I used an LM2596 DC to DC converter to provide the required voltage and current. Just attach the VCC and GND pins of the module to the OUT PLUS and OUT MINUS pins of the LM2596. Then, attach the TX pin of the SIM 800 to pin 7 of the Arduino and the RX pin to pin 8. We also need to connect the Arduino's ground pin to that of the SIM 800. Provide power input to the LM2596 of at least 7 volts to 12 volts. Make sure that the output of the LM2596 is set at 3.7 volts by turning the potentiometer. When the SIM 800 receives enough power, the onboard LED starts to blink once per second. This means that the SIM 800 is searching for a network signal. If the SIM 800 is connected to the network, the blinking becomes once every 3 seconds. We will now be using a simple code to test communication with the SIM 800L. This sketch uses software serial to send messages to the module. Every message we send and receive is reflected in the serial monitor. If we send AD to the module, the SIM 800 will reply with OK. AD commands are a set of commands for communicating with modems. There are plenty of AT commands to be used. See the link in the description for all possible AT commands. Start sending and reading SMS as well as make and receive calls with AT commands. However, it is easier to use readily available Arduino libraries. Here, we will use Adafruit's Phona library. To start using the library, use the Arduino IDE Library Manager. Just search for the Adafruit Phono Library and install it. Upload the example sketch on the library and open the serial monitor. There is a menu for all functions of the SIM 800, including sending SMS. Here, we will try sending an SMS. You first give the mobile number and then provide the message to be sent. Our recipient received the SMS. The SIM 800, of course, cannot only send SMS but also read them. You can also make and receive calls, even connect to the internet using mobile data. See the link in the description below for some example code for those other functions.